Okay, I just want to say, you know, a big thank you to everyone that came out for the live stream. Yeah, I didn't get to do anything in VR chat. That wasn't in the cards. I wanted to. I was hoping I could hang out with a few people at the end there in VR chat. We ended up playing Phasmophobia instead uh, with the amazing uh, Hazard Hyena. Uh, and, you know, a big special thanks to also the Plague for joining me for the force bit of that stream. Absolutely amazing. So everyone knows I did a 24 hour live stream. We did this for charity. Uh, this is something I've done every year and it's been a highlight of streaming. When I do this event, it is a very big highlight of being able to stream and be able to do things more in and around for content and streaming. And it also goes to a very good cause. Uh, the Stollery Children's Hospital is a dear to my heart cause uh, because we've been through it. We have a little one. He was born very early. And I actually, I spoke about this a little bit during the stream. He's good. He's pretty good now. We still have a couple issues, but it's not like he, he's speaking. He's doing all these things, uh, doing all sorts of wondrous things at this point. Where did the... How old oh, is he? He's seven now. But, so, is he, so is he verbal? Uh, semi. He's not fully verbal yet. But he will speak. So I guess he's just developmentally disabled because of this? Yes. Uh, so because the first year of his life was in hospital, uh, obviously he's, um, you, you don't get those first year of experiences. Uh, he doesn't eat regularly. Uh, we have uh, a, what's called a G-tube. So it's a button that's in his belly that's surgically implanted and we feed him that way. So. Was that a result of a premature birth? Just not a properly developed gastrointestinal uh, tract no it was a result because uh his um he developed what was it um it was a lung disease was what developed but it's not like an actual lung disease um what had happened here is because he had he was intubated for so long um so his air, they kept his airway open via tube um it just happened to collapse a little bit on his throat so then he ended up having to get a trachea. We, like when he came home, he had, it was, um, we, we had the trachea for two years, almost two, no, almost three years. He had a trachea. So God. yeah, it's not, not anything that you would think anyone could go through. Uh, it's, uh, so since he's been much better, he doesn't have the trachea now, obviously. He's grown out of that. He's grown very strong. Multiple surgeries. It's, uh, yeah, it's crazy stuff that we've actually had to go through. In part of it, I actually was off work for three years. And that's when I started live streaming. I literally started live streaming just to do something because I couldn't leave the home. I was, I, I was stuck at home taking care of, I had to be there uh, in case something happened. And uh, we had home care in the home, all this stuff. It was crazy. Your kid's a strong dude and he's a fighter. Yeah, he is. He's a very, very big fighter. Like he, he wasn't given up and we're very thankful for that. So and he never gave up. No, no, uh, trust me. He doesn't give up. He, he can, he can knock me over now and he's seven. And uh, it's it's quite it's quite he's <laughs> quite the thing. He like he's like he's got the mind of a five year old and the seven year old body with the strength behind it. So you're a very strong man for going through all this stuff, coming out clean on the yeah. other side. It, it, it's getting better day by day. His birthday's actually. Uh, his birthday is in, what is it? About two weeks. Look, look, All right. Yeah. So he's, he actually turns eight in a couple weeks here. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it's something I haven't spoken about totally a lot. I have spoken it on the channel in the past. But a little recap. I have a little one. He was born 15 weeks premature. Uh, and we spent 352 days in hospital. He ended up with a trachea. He ended up with uh, what's called a G-tube. A trachea is a hole in your neck. Uh, a G-tube is a hole in your belly. Um, so we feed him through an, a line through his belly. 
uh, and that's one of the big things that we we still have to this day. Um, he is also learning delayed and just l trying to be a kid, right? In we're trying to raise a kid, and he's just trying to be a kid. And in a lot of ways, um, what you see before you right now, with me being part of this fandom, being part of the uh, the the VR chat community, being part of everything like that. This, in a lot of ways, was something that I think was inevitable for me. I, 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 I've always looked at VR. I've always done things in that sense. But I didn't jump into it. I didn't just jump into it because I didn't have the money. Uh, I didn't have the, the means to it. And thanks to some very, very amazing people around this channel and this community, it, it's something that I've been able to dive into. Um, and... This honestly means so much more and being able to also use this as a medium to create content and to create more things when it comes down to the charity aspect of things, when, when I get to do so much more with content, the, the charity stream, absolutely amazing. Um, the totals for that, my personal total or the personal total of this community right now sits at $2,730. We were in, uh, there was $730 in donations during that stream. And I thank every single one of you for that. Um, those, you know, a lot of them, a lot of the donations are people that I, I I've gotten to know. And then there was also a few of you new ones that did donate and every single one of you, thank you. Um, I have sent out emails to a lot of those donors as well. Please do go check those emails. It means the world to me. And without communities like this, it's absolutely imperative, imperative that communities like this do thrive. So anyone that was in the live streams, anyone that came about, you guys are absolutely amazing. I am taken back by the amount that we have been able to do with the community just on YouTube and now on Twitch. I, 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 I crossed over 210 followers on Twitch. That's insane. I have never seen that type of growth before. I was on, it, it took me two years on YouTube to even get to a thousand. It took me a full year to get to 500. And it's only taken a couple months to get over 200 on Twitch. That's insane. The, the, the amount that people can grow on Twitch is just absolutely insane. And I have to thank every single one of you that came by the stream. Uh, Shadow of the Woofa Woo did raid in. Um, Gaz raided in. Daenerys Den. You guys are all absolutely amazing. And I can't thank everyone you, every one of you enough. Um, if I'm missing anyone, I am so sorry. I, 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 I've just been so taken back over the little bit and I'm still, you know, I'm still recovering a little bit. Uh, yeah, when, when you stay up like 30 hours in a day, it, it doesn't make it easy. Uh, you still got to try and sleep and you still have responsibilities in life. And this is something I've dealt with for a long time. Now for me, this means an absolute lot. Uh, it, they, they broke down the numbers. For a kid to have a week of pet therapy, it costs $200 to do that. So at almost $800 raised, that's four kids that can have a pet come to their bedside while they're in hospital for a week. Um, that That's absolutely insane. And on top of that, the city, the group with Extra Life and everyone around that, the grant and the total were over $450 thousand dollars raised for the Stollery Hospital that is in desperate need of actually a new hospital. Um, I know the government here, they are pushing to try and find a location for that as well. So it's been, it's been a very giant journey. And in the last little while, I've been taken back by everything. Uh, I, I'm honestly overwhelmed by it all. Uh, it, it's, I, in some ways, I don't even know what direction I'm being pulled in. And that has been part of it. it, it I, I've made some amazing friends. And it's something that was sorely list, missing. Now, with the, the Extra Life stuff, it's absolutely imperative. If you go check out that link, even just to read a little bit of it. Um, I do have other videos on that from years past. They are well worth the check it out. Um, you can learn a lot about what I've done with the charity where we've gone with it in the past and what we've done. And I hope to do more things like that in the future. And I have to thank every single one that has turned out and done and just was part of the stream or, or was there just trying to keep me awake because when you're awake for 24 hours like that, 
And it's more than that. Like I was awake at 6.30 a.m. on Saturday morning. I didn't have to be there until, I had to be there for registration at 8.30. I didn't get to set up my gear until 10.30, uh, which made things very stressful because the stream I wanted to start was at 11. Then we had nothing but network issues for the first couple of hours. So I ended up streaming from my phone just to start getting the ball rolling because I couldn't wait anymore. And then I, I ended up packing up at 1030, uh, shutting it down. They gave me like a 10 minute warning that things were going to get shut off. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm shutting it down. Um, I didn't get home until noon. I didn't get to, uh, have a nap until about one thirty. Um, so that's a long time to be awake. That that's, I didn't, I, I, it's past 24 hours. I, I was awake for like 30 plus hours and honestly being awake that long. Yeah. It's grueling. It's, it deprives your, your brain. It deprives your body of sleep. You get deprived of it, but these are nothing in comparison to what kids go through in a hospital. And, uh, we went through hell and back. Um, I know firsthand what my little one has been through and we've gone through countless surgeries. Now I don't even know how many surgeries. I've lost track. Uh, you know, I, we were at the hospital daily. Those things take a toll on a person. And for me to do a live stream like that is just, it, it's something more. And it's the way I can try and give back and to try and fundraise and just do that much more. And that's why I do it. And I, if it wasn't for a community, if it wasn't for everyone on YouTube, on Twitch now, on in the Discord, if it wasn't for that, it, it wouldn't be something I'd be able to do. So thank you, every single person that did donate. And uh, everyone that shared it out, thank you very, very much. Anyway, I'm going to cut it here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I am your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. I will see you again very soon.